welcome back to my channel coffee with stephanie and welcome Hello. if you are new hello from henry um so as you can tell by the title we are going to make a yummy um peach cobbler cheesecake yeah <laughs> i love cheesecake absolutely love it it's my favorite dessert and if we are out and about if we go to a restaurant which is very rare these days but you know once in a while we like to go out to eat and if cheesecake is on the menu I'm going to be ordering it as if I have enough room of course <laughs> um, so this recipe Instagram Instagram okay I don't know what's up with my feed on Instagram but every time I scroll Instagram there's a bunch of yummy recipes there's a few but yeah like every other post oh that looks really good okay I'll save it oh that one looks good too okay let's save that and before you know it you have a collection of recipes um on instagram um on tiktok <laughs> on pinterest pretty much every platform almost you have like a bunch of different yummy recipes so this recipe came from instagram and it is originally um from the website of bluebowlrecipes.com um so yeah <laughs> we're going to it's been a while since i made cheesecake so i've wanted to make one for a while so we're going to make this peach cobbler cheesecake um i got um i got peaches the other the other day and i love peach season love a nice ripe peach I always love to bake something when peaches are in season. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like really, really, really good. Oh, sweet and delicious. All right, so this is gonna be um, kind of, I'm gonna start it today and finish it tomorrow because it does take time to set in the fridge six hours you know or overnight so yeah and it's like already in the afternoon and I had to let my um, ingredients from the fridge like the eggs and the cream cheese come to room temperature um, I had everything out to come to room temperature and then I noticed I also have some sour cream as part of the recipe and I had a sour cream on the counter and then the hubby put the sour cream back in the fridge so I had to take back I had to take out the sour cream again and then I forgot oh yeah the egg the eggs 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 the eggs have to come to room temperature so all that stuff is waiting and it, it will be good to go once we get to that part of the recipe um yeah so everything like that is Everything that's from the fridge has to be at room temperature, or otherwise it says that it won't work. So, and my oven is up to 350. It actually is ready to go. Um, so you have to roast peaches, um, but that's for the very um, top. Um, you also have to roast them for the top and to put it in the cheesecake, so you have to do it, do it twice. So I will be roasting peaches to go in the middle, but then on the top, because I don't want to use 10 peaches, um, I'm going to be switching this recipe up just a little bit because it does call for 10 medium ripe peaches and that's a lot. My container of peaches is 11 and I want some for us to snack on and not all to go in the cheesecake. So I'm kind of going to use half of the peaches that I bought in the container and the other half are going to be um, peaches that are sliced but in a jar, which also works. So those ones I'll probably use on top and I'll use the peaches that I bought on the weekend in the, in the, oh, actually I got to turn my oven up, up to 400. Um, I just thought about that. I'm gonna use those peaches in the cheesecake. Yeah, um, cause that way we have some to eat, right? Yeah, and I didn't wanna buy two peaches because that's like 10 bucks, like that's way too much. So. And I have like four jars of sliced peaches in the cupboard, so I can use that up too. So yeah, so I'll use the jar ones for the top, but we'll get to that when um, we're ready to serve it, the top topping. All right, so um, first part is, um, well, we're going to, before we get to the graham cracker crust, we are going to heat our ovens to 400 
I'm gonna slice four peaches and line a baking sheet with parchment paper and um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, how does that sound? <laughs> All right, hope you have your appetites. <laughs> All right, so in a mixing bowl, we're going to mix two tablespoons of sugar. And half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Uh, I need hello. a loaf of manry. Taco says hello. Uh, oh, Taco says hello too. Eat more cinnamon. I think I have more in the cupboard. Okay, and I need to grab one eighth a teaspoon of nutmeg. All right, and one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg. And just give that a mix. And set aside. All right. Next up, I'm going to slice up, slice up some peaches. Um, I might just do three because these ones are pretty chunky. So I might just do three. We will see. Juicy, juicy. <laughs> really juicy. I know there's still some on this, so we're just going to get off what we can. Actually, don't know why I did it that way when I should be doing it this way. <laughs> Although I seen on TikTok somebody got a pair of pliers, um, a pointy ones. What, what are those called? I'm assuming pliers. <laughs> and I got out the see just with the pliers like with the going in there and grabbing and twisting and there goes our oven already yeah okay okay almost okay he almost hit the banister <laughs> Um, I, I don't know. I think I, I think I'm so used to cutting up apples. I'm not used to cutting up peaches. That's why I cut that one like an apple. <laughs> and it's like, oh wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one is really ripe. They need to get used. Hey, she joined me because I think I found the right one. Okay. Yeah, you want to try one here? Um, here's a small one. There you go. Oh, Casey, come on, Dad, yeah, that's what I want. Oh, that's good. Well, eat it. Finish it. Um, Henry doesn't like peaches. Yeah, it, <laughs> it, it tastes gross. It tastes gross, according to Henry. It, it like because it mm -hmm. tastes like it's sour. Okay. Okay. Casey, do you want to eat you? And then, let's see. And you can toss the peaches in here. That's what I want. And then you let it sit for 10 minutes so they get nice and juicy. I think that's just enough. Like, honestly. Wait, um, just like, give me the phone. This might involve a little bit of messy hand work. Look at all that. <laughs> it really is juicy. Go You are. Okay, I'm going to sit for 10 minutes and then, oh, uh, you guys can't see. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll get the parchment paper on the cookie tray. I, I, I like it. Oh, no, but come on, we go. 
Um, All right, so I remembered my apron. I put my bell apron on. You can't really see it right now, but you can see it a little bit. There we go. Ooh, there she is. <laughs> okay, so I have the peaches just set to the side for 10 minutes while they get nice and juicy. Um, so next we're going to work on the crust. Um, now when the peaches are done, we will have to turn down the oven to 350. All right, so we need graham cracker crumbs. I had extra graham crackers in the cupboard, and it's a great way just to use those and put it as a block bag. Get get your rolling pin out, get your frustration, your stress out, whatever you have, and take it out on the graham crackers, okay? <laughs> um, and it's a lot cheaper, and you get more. That this this was a full sleeve. Uh, we'll see if it's enough. It might be. If not, I'll get my more frustrations out. I'll make more. <laughs> but it's a great way to use up graham crackers um, if you have any extra. Yeah, and it's a lot cheaper than buying the graham crackers already crushed. And you get a lot more when you do it that way. All right, so let's do the crust. Let's see. My help. All right. All right, for the crust. Okay, so five oh, tablespoons of butter, one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs, um, and two tablespoons of sugar. So, we want, come, come help do this. Hang on. Come over here. I'm not busy playing Roblox, but just want to do this. Yeah, I got to hurry. We have to hurry. Because okay. I can't die. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you can't pause Roblox. And then I, I don't want to wait. Okay, perfect. Okay, yep. Thank you. Perfect, thank you. All right, so I'm just going to put this in the pantry, in the cupboard, and put it aside for next time I need it. Um, I will have to add some more, of course, to it, but that's good. We'll see that for next time. Okay, um, two tablespoons of sugar. I'm just taking note of my sugar bowl here. <laughs> One, two, and five tablespoons of butter. Um, it did say melted, but I'm assuming, yeah, it's melted. It's always melted. Oh, I got it right here. All right, so I use the Bacel sticks. And it has like a one full stick is half a cup. Two of these would be a cup. And it has like one tablespoon, two tablespoon. So I only need a little bit of this. The rest of this I will use because I don't have any cooking spray to spray my spring form pan. Um, I will use this so it doesn't stick. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm going to be right back because I'm going to get what I need, put in the bowl, and melt it. All right, it's been 10 minutes for the peaches, so I'm going to dump them on here. Actually, I think I'll just place them <laughs> on here. That's better. And put it in them, and oh, it smells really good. <laughs> The smell of cinnamon. Wait, no, it's teleporting me. I think this was the right amount because like a couple of those peaches were really big. Oh yeah, it's full. Wait, I think I'll have to If I would have dumped it, I think it would have been a little bit of a mess. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so this goes in the oven. Um, I think for seven to I need another arm. <laughs> seven to fifteen minutes, depending on how tender you want it. So I'm gonna do that, I'll be right back. Alright, I set the timer for seven minutes, so we'll see how they do. That'll be enough. So let's finish up the um, graham cracker crust. I got my melted butter. We already got all, right? 
got in there. Gonna be dripping. Check that around. Take them down. Oh, you gotta take them down. Last time I made cheesecake, it's been a while. And I remember I made one for the hubby's birthday, Oreo cheesecake. Watch my cake That was before I was vlogging. That was a few years ago. Have I made one since then? I must have. Yes, I did, yes. Last summer, a lemonade one. That one was really good. I want to make that one again before summer is over. No. Nope. That one's like a smaller one though. That one isn't as big. Yeah. It's I don't know. I think it's, this is right. No, I think I got a downsized my pan. Let me get another pan. All right, I'm just gonna use this one. It's um, a spring form one. The bottom comes loose. It just looks like really big. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> so let's just butter it up. No, he spawned the zombies on PC. Do you see that? Oh. Okay. Oh, full air hand. Oh, full air hand. Full air hand. There we go. Now I gotta wash my hand. Tap. Keep okay. going. So do not hit a new eye. Watch out. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, okay. It's, just a, it's a little deceiving to the eye because it's like you don't think you have that much graham cracker crust and you think your pan looks a lot bigger than a shaky. So, <laughs> but no, okay, we're good. Okay, I'm just going to wait for the peaches to be done. And then this will be popped in the oven when the temperature is right. Here we go. And um, the boys don't really like cheesecake. Well, Casey might. Um, but I will be giving a couple pieces to my mom and dad. So we don't eat the whole thing, because I probably could eat the whole thing. Just give me a fork. That's all I need is a fork, and I dig it. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. That is good. Ugh. I'm gonna wash my hands again. Be right back. <laughs> So, seven minutes in our oven, did the trick, nice and tender, um, ready to go. So I have the, Wait, see? see? <laughs> Ooh. It's, it's like juicy. Very juicy. Um, so I have the graham cracker crust in the oven right now for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to set this aside and we will um, start the next step. Next up is cheesecake batter. Um, so it calls for 32 ounces of cream cheese, which is about three and a half blocks. But I'm just going to use two blocks. I think that's enough. So that's another area I'm kind of tweaking the recipe. Because cream cheese um, isn't the cheapest right now. Um, these were actually, this is light, this was all that was left in the no-name brand, your off-brand, but still just as good as Philly. Um, they are $2.50 if you buy two or more, which isn't too, too bad. But to keep it under the budget, at a reasonable price to make a cheesecake, I'm just going to do two instead of three and a half. Good book. Maybe everybody's making cheesecake because like there was like no regular. This is light. Which is fine. But 
I think everybody's making cheesecake. <laughs> Must be. All right, let's get this one open. So we cream the cream cheese and one and a half cups of white sugar together. Do a plunk. Gotta move my recipe. <laughs> Got no room. Alright, one cup. You okay? Alright, he's okay. And a half cup. Alright, so I'm gonna cream this together. But I'm gonna pause it. Spare your ears. All right, and next is one cup of sour cream at, at room temperature, like I said before. Give us a good mixy poo. There we go. Wait, wait, you took damage. Uh, cause I don't, cause I guess you help. Making so a mess as I go along. <laughs> oh, you did took damage. There we go. Oh no. Oh, my crust is almost done. All right, so my crust is done and cooling, and I mixed the sour cream with the cream cheese and sugar, so that's all blended together. Um, now I'm going to two table, two not tablespoons, two teaspoons of uh, vanilla. Wait, that's what? Oh wait, God, you to do a I just did myself. Oh my God, hey, no, and I'm so going to do so four eggs. But I'm going to mix one at a time the with the blender. So I'm Why? going to do that and I'll be right back. Why? All right, so that's it for the cream cheese filling. And I'm just gonna let the crust cool a little bit um, and set up for the next part, which is the cinnamon streusel. So while that's, the crust is cooling, um, we'll do the store salt and then everything should be good to go and we can put it together and put it in the oven All right, so Wait, half a cup of butter And two third cup of brown sugar One cup plus two tablespoons of flour. Oh, oh no, I gotta grab another fine. cup. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons first and grab a cupper. Since my other one is dirty, that's why you have multiple sets, right? So <laughs> of measuring cups. Okay. And half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, I just found a secret plan. Wait. You know that? Oh. I found it on the floor right there. But it's, it's not my extra budget. Plus, okay. it sounds unscrewed. And. There might be some right? A pinch of salt. Wait, I just got off. Alright, I'm going to mix this together and bring it back. All right, and yes, I, I upgraded my bowl because I realized after I stopped recording that clip that that bowl was way too small, so I dumped it in this bowl before I made a huge mess. I mean, I still made a mess, but not as huge as I would have in a small bowl. So, <laughs> just in case you were wondering, yeah, yeah. <sighs> All right, so that's the 
Cinnamon yeah, strusel. Yeah. It smells so good. Casey said it smells so good, and I agree. Um, now let's start putting it together. Abracadabra. All right, we are officially set. Okay. So pour half of the batter over the baked and cool crust. Then you add the roasted peaches in an even layer. Okay. Make sure you guys can see. More. Okay, it's about, I think that's about half. Let's try to spread it evenly. Yeah, there we go. That helps. There, yeah. Oh, yeah. For the, the main attraction. <laughs> My peaches. We have to go class. And we're just gonna put them in a nice little. I just say all the donuts. Cream cheese bath here. I think that's a very good good way to have a bath and a cream cheese. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, these three were enough. The peaches, because a couple of them were big. Wait, we are by ourselves. Yeah. That's what we do. What do you do? Let, let uh, me see this the is looking pretty good, guys. I hope it, really, I hope it does turn out. I really do. Maybe some monsters. <laughs> um, what's your weapon? Mmm, yummy. It's soft tongue, right? Oh, that yeah. That's just too many. That's good. All right, and sprinkle one third to a half of the streusel. I'm gonna grab a cupper. That might be easier. There we go. Perfect. All right. Yes, yes. Come on. And pour on the remaining batter and smooth the top. And then we bake it for 88 to 91 minutes. And then you let it cool completely at room temperature. Um, and then we cover it Daddy, with foil or plastic wrap. And then we refrigerate it for at least, at least six hours. And right now it is like, I think around four o'clock. So this is going to be overnight. And we'll have to wait till tomorrow <laughs> to see how it turns oh, yeah. out. No, it's, it's just plain. It's just, it's just like a blue key. Get all that deliciousness in there. Wait, let's check out So far, so good. I'm happy with everything. Get, now we'll just get, uh, get through the baking part. You get on top of the bookshelf, okay? All right. And I'll use my. Sh I'll use that, okay? Well, I love baking. Looks pretty good. I can wait. Wait, that's a half wide. Alright, we will see you in just over an hour. 
So the cheesecake is done. I just took it out of the oven. It took a little bit longer. Um, in my oven, it took about an hour and 45 minutes. Is, is so that, it, needed, it, it needed a little extra time to I'm bake. Um, as you can see, the peaches, some of them made it to the top and it looks really good. And I want to dig in, but I have to let it cool first, cover it up, and let it sit in the fridge overnight. So we will come back and finish it after it sits in the fridge and taste test it, of course, which is the best part, right? Yes, I agree. I am looking forward to taste testing it. I wish I could right now, but I can't. Gotta be patient. <laughs> Patience, young grasshopper. <laughs> so it's about 9.30. At night, it's the same a day. Cheesecake is in the fridge. I, and I was like starting to think. It's like looking back at the recipe and like, you know, I'm missing something. It doesn't make sense about the cinnamon streusel. You know, um, because you're supposed to put some on top too. But you don't put it back in the oven, of course. Otherwise, your cheesecake is going to be overdone. And I'm like, but this isn't cooked. It has to be cooked. Um, I kind of missed... A step. I didn't write it down. Um, totally skipped it. So I'm glad I looked back on the recipe. You have to cook the streusel at 350 for eight minutes. So make sure. Hello from Henry. <laughs> make sure you do that. Yep. Hello from Henry. So I am waiting for my oven to heat up. I'm going to do that right now. Yeah. So I am um, the the streusel that's in the cheesecake that's fine because the cheesecake was in the oven I'm not worried about that so but this is gonna get cooked yeah <laughs> oh yeah it's like never never a dull moment and it's like okay that makes sense now <laughs> all right so the streusel nice and cooked we'll let it cool for a bit and it is let's see 948 who wants cheesecake? Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Um we could have cheesecake. Um, so and it's been in the fridge for six hours or close to it. Honestly, I think I'll do it to till tomorrow. But you know what? Let's have cheesecake. Mm. Um let me get a plate and put this on a plate. Uh -huh, yeah. I will try it. Hopefully, yeah, you can try it. Hopefully it will um Behave and come out properly. Make good behave! And Taco wants to say hello. Taco, well, she probably is up right now. <laughs> mm. Alright, so let's um, release the cheesecake. <laughs> if it comes out, should we let me. Oh, and I, I, I have four peaches left. We each had a peach except for Henry because he's picky. Um, so I'm going to top the top with two peaches and that should be enough. Yeah. Otherwise, I would use my jar of peaches. I think that would work just as well too because they are really good. Get it loose from the side. And the pan is, oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. I was gonna say, it wasn't moving. Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was close. This piece right here. Right here, want to break away. Like Kelly Collection. <laughs> okay. Oh, doesn't that look yummy? Mm -mm -mm. Guys, I'm just going to put peaches on top and sprinkle the crumble. I think the crumble, honestly, is too much. Honestly. 
Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll mix it with a crumble. Yeah, let's do that. Here. I have the, the crumble in this bowl. So let's do that. And we'll think of the Golden Girls. Yeah. Yeah. They love cheesecake. So I still have two peaches left, so that's pretty good. So I used six. No, five. Five. Because one was really big. I mean, sure, so, but it's like crumble too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that will work. <laughs> okay, let me do this and uh, be right back. Alright, let's put it on top. I just let it sit for a few minutes. have to be pretty and exactly each peach in a specific spot but here we go like that's good and just, here we go let's do it this way there we go mm. And I still have some, I have all this left and I'm probably only going to like sprinkle a little bit more so I will be saving the rest for I guess an, another dessert. So it's like a lot of recipes I want to bake because when I was at my mom and dad's with their new house yesterday helping them move. I went through her recipe box <laughs> and I found some yummy recipes so yeah <laughs> and I found the one that I was looking for that was um, from uh, the family reunion that we had back in the day and uh, I just took pictures of all the recipes I want to make oh that's good <laughs> mm -hmm. and there were a few good ones so um yeah I did take some pictures and um, so I want to um, see which ones I want to do first. And I also have those cookbooks that I got from the yard sale that are from churches. And I did go through one and there's a few that I want to make. So you know what? We're going to be baking and cooking. All right. Yeah. Doesn't that look good? Mm-hmm. Nope. Don't go, don't go, don't go on the floor. <laughs> that just reminded me of the Friends episode. Oh, with, um, um. Rachel and Chandler was the cheesecake that was accidentally getting delivered to their apartment and then it, then it the cheesecake fell on the floor and they're eating it off the floor and uh, Joey comes by and with his fork they're like oh what do we have here <laughs> you know of course Joey has a fork right of course okay there we go I'm going to put this back in the container and just save it for something else like I find out a lot with recipes when you have to make a streusel or crumble. It's way too much. Yeah. There. That looks so pretty. Very pretty. Okay. Right. Ta-da! I gotta take pictures before I cut into it. I amaze myself. I cut a small piece and it came out perfect. 
perfect, perfect, perfect. And look at that. Look at the peach in the middle. Like, yum. So let's take a taste. This is what I've been waiting for all day. <laughs> and it's like um, just after 10 o'clock right now. And I'm having cheesecake, but it's a small piece. <laughs> uh -huh. If it was earlier, if it was, if it was ready earlier, the piece would be bigger. <laughs> so uh, let's take a bite. Shut the front door. I don't really shut it because this is really good. Mm hmm. I used less cheesecake than what they recommended. Not cheesecake, I mean cream cheese. That it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> um, so I used less cream cheese um, than the recipe recommended. And it's good. It's really, you can still taste the cream cheese. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I think it would be really good if I did what I originally was going to do with the jar of peaches on top. That would still be really good, too. Mm hmm. I don't think it's going to last long. <laughs> I better hurry up um, and take two to my mom and dad tomorrow. Two slices. You know, I think Casey will like it, but Henry doesn't like peaches and he doesn't like cream cheese. So we're going to bake something that he will like. It's hard to please everybody. <laughs> oh, yes, I think the Golden Girls would um, would approve. They definitely would. Yes, this will go great with a with a cup of coffee. Really would. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mm. 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 It's really good. It's really good. So if you make it, just remember to bake this yourself before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least before you put it on top. Yeah, if you put inside a cheesecake on bake, it still gets baked, right? So, mm -hmm. all right, so thank you for watching. It was really fun to make a cheesecake. I haven't made one for a long time. Like, I made up, like I mentioned before, I made a lemonade one, but that one was like smaller. I haven't made this size of a cheesecake for a long, long time. So, um, I should make it more often. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. It's not good for the waistline. <laughs> Once in a while, it's okay. Yeah. Um, so thank you for watching. I really should really appreciate it. Um, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up and comment down below. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And I'll be happy to have you welcome you to me too, family. All right. Um, so take care. Be blessed. And Henry, you want to help me say goodbye? He's going to bed. Well, this is a separate video. <laughs> Otherwise, my vlog would be too long. Can you help me say goodbye? Goodbye, Chad. 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 Goodbye, Chad.